good morning students uh, today we are going to see about the uh, torch and testing machine so what is torch and testing machine so what is the experiment we are going to uh, do with the help of this torch and testing machine so before that we want to know what do you mean by torch and torch and is a type of stress when you take as some specimen and if you twist it right if you uh, handle this this is a specimen and i am twisting it like this one hand is going clockwise another hand is going going anti clockwise so if you twist this uh, specimen a stress will be induced at the center point of this specimen right so how much uh, twisting it can able to handle so that is what we are going to calculate from this today's experiment and this is called as the torsion right so this is the specimen we are going to uh, find how much twisting torsion load is uh, acting in this uh, specimen that we are going to calculate so this is a specimen which has a length of 400 meters i mean i'm sorry 400 mm and here for left side and right side for fixing the two uh, fixing the specimen we need 50 mm and in between there is a 200 mm uh, gap in that gap only we are going to see the uh, torsion stress or the torsion which is acting that is normally a torque which is acting in this specimen so this is the torsion testing uh, machine right so it has a uh, movable chair you can able to move to and fro uh, based on the specimen size we can able to move to and fro uh, and this is the bed uh, in, uh, in this bed only all this uh, mobile chuck and this uh, uh, this uh, left side holder and this dial everything is fixed inside fixed in the bed uh, fixed fixed in the bed only so here you can able to see a uh, another dial so this dial which is used to find the angle so if you rotate this handle you can able to see how much angle it is twisting so based on that you can able to calculate the degrees then and this is the fixed uh, uh, fixed chuck so in between this two chucks only we are going to uh, place this specimen and here we can able to see the dial so dial which is given in the kilogram meters so so we are directly measuring the torque because the unit of the torque is kilogram meters so here we can able to see the dial readings 5 10 15 up to 50 so uh, from 0 to 5 you can able to measure it so each 10 divisions which uh, has 1 kg meter of uh, torque right so based on this dial reading you can able to uh, measure the torque and based on this uh, angular dial reading you can able to measure the angle so these are the two readings we are going to take in this machine right by placing this uh, placing this specimen so uh, the, uh, the how how we are going to do the experiment is first we will place the specimen Uh, this side 50 mm and uh, right side 50 mm and left side 50 mm which will be going inside the chuck and this 200 mm will be placed uh, outside after uh, placing it in the chuck will be uh, tightening it and will make it as a rigid one and will start twisting the angle using this handle so when we keep on twisting the angle a torque will be induced inside this specimen that induced torque will be measuring it uh, from this dial so based on the torque value and based on the angle value uh, we are going to calculate the shear stress and the rigidity modulus so this uh, uh, equa this uh, terms which we will see in the equation uh, so in this equation i will explain uh, what are all the different terms so here you can able to see the torsion equation so torsion equation which is t by j is equal to tau by r which is equal to c theta by l so t which is called as the torque uh, that we will be measuring directly using the machine and j which is called as the polar moment of inertia for that particular specimen uh, and tau which is shear stress which we are going to calculate it and r which is the radius of the specimen so we have so r which is the radius of a cylindrical specimen and c which is called as the polar moment of inertia uh, c is called as the rigidity modulus that we are going to find and theta we have measured directly from the experiment uh, angle of twist and l is the total length of the specimen which is 200 mm so here we are going to find the torque and the c which is uh, rigidity modulus now we can see the see how we want to do the experiment now the specimen which is fixed 
by loosening this uh, bolt and this side you can able to tight this now the specimen is uh, rigid now we can see how the sp particular specimen which is twisting so uh, you can see the dial reading and also uh, the angular reading by uh, rotating the knob now you can see uh, how the dial is moving so here the twisting which is carried out you can able to see the movement of the angle which is slowly moving now you can able to see the dial which is moving so it is slowly moving now it is reached to the uh, 5 kilogram meter and here also the angle which is moved from 0 to uh, 20 uh, 0 to 10 up to 15 degrees it is uh, moved so this is the angle for a particular uh, specimen and this is the torque so based on this two readings you can able to calculate the uh, required uh, values from by substituting these values in the torque equation thank you